Welcome to the lesson on structure and function of cells. At the end of the lesson, we will be able to understand the role of cells as basic units of tissues and organs, explain the different parts of the cell and their functions, differentiate between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, compare plant and animal cells. What are you doing, Jim? Mom, I'm looking at this plant. I'm worried her roots absorb water and nutrients from the soil. Who is actually doing this job? Oh, I understood. You want to know how roots perform their function. Actually, each function in an organism is performed by cells which in turn combine to form tissues and organs. We can understand that each organ has a particular function which in turn is performed by the cells. Can you please tell me in detail? We will have to understand the parts of a cell first. The main parts of the cell are cell membrane, cytoplasm and nucleus. The boundary of the onion cell is the cell membrane. This membrane separates cell from one another and also from the other medium. This membrane is porous and allows movement of substances. The cytoplasm and nucleus are enclosed within cell membrane. This cell membrane is also bounded by another thick cover which is known as cell wall. Cell wall is present only in plants for protection. It is not present in animal cell. Plant cells need protection against variations in temperature, high wind speed and atmospheric moisture. Cytoplasm is the jelly-like substance present between the cell membrane and nucleus. Various other components or organelles of cells are present in the cytoplasm. These are mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, vacuole and ribosomes. Nucleus is an important component of the living cell. Is it? Yes. It is generally spherical and located in the center of the cell. Nucleus is separated from cytoplasm by membrane called nuclear membrane. It contains smaller spherical bodies called nucleolus. It also contains thread-like structures called chromosomes. What is the importance of these chromosomes? They carry genes and help in transfer of characters from parents to offspring. Chromosomes carry genes and help in transfer of characters from parents to offspring. Do you know why your hair is curly and not straight? Your dad and your grandfather both have curly hair. Hence, the genes got transferred to you from them. Oh, now I understand. Nucleus also acts as control center of the activities of the cell. Nucleus and other organelles together with cytoplasm are called Protoplasm. Protoplasm is called the living substance of the cell. When you observe the onion cells under the microscope, you can notice a blank looking structure in the cytoplasm. It is called vacuole. A vacuole gives a rigid shape to the cell. It also stores waste and food materials in it. Do you see the colored structures present in the plant cell? These are called plastids. They are of different colors. Some of them contain green pigment called chlorophyll. Green colored plastids are called chloroplasts. They provide green color to the leaves and help in photosynthesis. Is nucleus same in all the multicellular organisms? No. The nucleus of the bacterial cell is not well organized like the cells of multicellular organisms. There is no nuclear membrane. 
the cells having nuclear material without nuclear membranes are termed prokaryotic cells. Bacteria and blue-green algae are the examples of prokaryotic cells. Those cells which have well-organized nucleus with a nuclear membrane are called eukaryotic cells. Eu means true, carrion means nucleus. All plants and animals other than bacteria and blue-green algae are examples of eukaryotics. Now, Jim, you tell me how a plant cell is different from an animal cell. I think that one big difference is that plant cells have got a cell wall, but animal cell does not have a cell wall. That's correct. Mom, this is the list. I go for the components of plant and animal cell. Let me have a look at it. Well done, Jim. Plastids are also not present in the animal cell, so you are correct. At the end of this lesson, we are able to understand the role of cells as basic units of tissues and organs, explain the different parts of the cell and their functions, differentiate between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, compare plant and animal cells, Visit ATEC Academy on www.atecedu.com or contact on 904